Hi, my name is Emily Iannelli. Um, I also go by T-Girl Angel. Um, and I've been uh, struggling a bit. I know sometimes when I'm going through depression, I try to find a way to uh, reflect and try to look at the good things in my life. Obviously, I have many good things to be grateful for. Um, I had time with my son this weekend. I went to, uh, actually not the weekend, uh, the past few days as we're coming up on the weekend. Um, I had to uh, part ways with him last night, and that was not so easy. Uh, it was quite difficult, in fact. Um, my son is transitioning to uh, young adulthood, I guess you could say. He's going to be 18, and I know the pain and the the frustration and he's in a school where he is uh, feeling under challenged and I can uh, see his frustration I am frustrated myself uh, because I feel like uh, I'm not sure quite how to help my son. Um, um, we did have a nice time together. We bonded well. However, my son is still having difficulties with me transitioning as a woman. Um, you know, it's not easy, especially for someone like my son who's autistic. And to be honest with you, it's not easy for me either. And I try to find a source of strength. And people think that what I'm doing um, some, not all, is selfish, um, that I'm not thinking of my son's interests, um, but they don't realize the pain that I've gone through in my own life, uh, they don't know the feeling of being trapped. I can't compare autism to being transgender. It's like comparing apples to oranges. You can't make that comparison. Just like I can't make the comparison of being transgender and having bipolar disorder which I also have. I am struggling mightily with depression, bipolar disorder. Um, I have had times where I really wanted to end my life. Uh, it really does get to a point where you feel like you're just grasping at straws and there's no more straws to grasp at. It's like you're running on an empty tank that's about to uh, drip dry and you have to 
try to make it on the fumes. I have to try to summon the inner strength. Others think I am courageous. That I should be proud of what I am doing. They understand and they respect me. There is a lot of misconception as to what transgender means and what it is to struggle with mental illness and to be autistic in this case with my son. I have a family history of mental illness. Um, my mom struggled with manic depression, which is another way of saying bipolar disorder. And my dad struggled with depression and alcoholism due to the nature of his work as an iron worker. And he eventually committed suicide. And my mom wound up withering away in the hospital at a relatively young age. Life can be hard and difficult at times. But I try to look for the good in life. And I, I am not perfect. Sometimes I feel like I don't know what I'm doing anymore in my life. I feel kind of empty inside. And I feel somewhat I feel like I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm in a parking lot. That's why you hear these cars passing. I have a long drive ahead of me. And I needed to stop. And get something to eat. And just try to relax my mind. Yesterday was a difficult night for me, especially when my son didn't want to leave the car. We had to have four staff. Um, help me in getting him out to to his uh, residence at the school. And it was emotionally charging, emotionally draining on me. And they were nice to put me up in a hotel. I am... Sometimes, like... Feeling as if... I don't care about anything anymore. I mean, I do. Obviously, I care about my son. But it's like, I don't... I don't care if I die anymore. I mean... I have things in place. If I were to die... That my son and wife would be protected with my life insurance. I just feel sometimes like, what's the point of living when you're not happy? When you feel like you're incomplete. I have always felt incomplete. Ever since I was three, and I knew in my heart that I wanted to be female. 
I used to find my sense of happiness through clothing. It's hard to believe how a simple piece of clothing could make you happy. But for me, it was the clothing, but it wasn't the clothing that I was supposed to wear. It was the clothing that I wasn't supposed to wear. The clothing that I had to hide wearing. Dresses. Girls' underwear. It's hard to explain why I feel different. It's hard to understand it if you don't live it. I was watching a video today on YouTube about a a father with two young daughters who was married to a woman police officer in Ontario in Canada maybe Hamilton, Canada and I cried watching it as he explained his wife's battle with bipolar disorder and alcoholism and it rung really it, it really hit me hard because I saw my mom battle with that bipolar manic depression and I saw my dad struggle with bipolar depression and alcoholism and now I follow in the same suit I struggle every day it's a struggle Depression is not easily defined for most people. They shrug it off or they think that it's nothing serious. There's a big distinction between being down and struggling with chronic depression or bipolar disorder. Mental illness is a serious matter, as well as being transgender. And when you combine the two and your middle age going through a midlife crisis and you're trying to raise a son who's autistic who doesn't accept or quite understand what it's like in my situation and he rebels and uh, I accept his uh, feelings and I try to explain to him that I'm not trying to hurt him or anyone I'm just trying to be myself And that's all I try to tell anybody. 
And I have tremendous love in my heart for my son and my family. I would never want to hurt anybody. I just feel sometimes that I am alone quite a bit even when I have family around and I don't know how I can get past this When I go up to my son's school, I'm always thinking on the positive side that everything is going to be good, but it doesn't always work out that way. It's hard for my son to see me like this. I think in the way I need to figure out a way to balance my own needs with his needs without having a breakdown in the process in my heart I feel the need to dress the way I do As much as I feel that need, I also realize that my son probably wishes I dress and act different from how I present. And I can understand that. And I'm not perfect, and I never said that I was. I just want to be happy inside, and I want my son to be happy. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I saw a bad car accident yesterday on the highway. Probably somebody may have been killed. You never know. Things happen. Life is so unpredictable. We just have to try to accept things as they are and live and try to make peace I want to do my best and I want my son to be happy and do his best Anyway, I have a long ride ahead of me, so I must be on my way. Hopefully life will shine its brightness for both my son and I and my family and things will hopefully get better for both of us I love you Maddie Emily Ionelli T
Vertigo Angel。